safely using FTP on Windows. Some of you people still watch that other channel and the advice that they give that is often wrong. If you read the article about how to add FTP to IIS 7 on Windows, you did it wrong. IIS 7 can create a secure FTP site, not SFTP, but FTPS, which is FTP over SSL. This is actually safer than using something like Dropbox because you can control it and it's not out in the cloud. This means that you aren't granting access to some third party company that you know nothing about with the ability to drop stuff on your hard drive. By running FTPS on IIS 7, you're setting up a secure FTP site that's going to be encrypted and is only going to use the ports that you have assigned it. Unlike Dropbox that has tunneling software that creates a connection between your computer through your NAT and out to this third party company and can be accessed by others. The whole point of the convenience of Dropbox is that other people can connect to your computer and that they can do so without having to open ports through your router. The port is, are already automatically opened by the software. This NAT transversal makes them very, very insecure, especially if you're running multiple computers on the same network running software that has this tunneling capability. Because now you've created a scenario where more ports are open and those ports connect multiple computers to the outside world with an in-out connection as opposed to a one-way connection like a typical NAT connection would be. So, if you're thinking about moving large files from point A to point B with your friends, relatives, between the office and home, FTP over SSL is the way to go. There are some other technologies, but for the most part, they require a third party to do the handshake. Doing it directly with a secure password over SSL so that all of your data is encrypted is the safest, most secure way to do it. And anybody who tells you otherwise doesn't understand security.